Hi everybody, here's a video to show you how to take through Design Space uh, a couple of new SVGs to make these lovely, I'm calling them, carousel gift boxes. It, there's a little inner box inside that turns around to display um, what's actually inside it. That's not a brilliant explanation, is it? Let's see if I can... So yeah, so you can see that's with the box open and if I can go right to the end, I think... Yeah, watch this. So as you can see, there's an inner box attached to that handle and you can turn that around to either display a greeting like that or to actually show what's inside the uh, box. I'll just show that once more. So there's one like this, which is about 8 centimetres tall and then there's another one which is about 12 centimetres tall and they're both the same width, just over 11 centimetres. Really lovely boxes. Um, you get a PDF of instructions which shows you how to make them. If I can just go onto that first page and on the front of the PDF you get um, a diagram of the SVG. So it's not, it isn't difficult to make at all. Uh, it comes out really beautifully. It's not difficult, it's not, you know, you don't require loads of skill to make it. It's just that because you're cutting out lots of circular shapes you need to keep track when you're taking it off the mat of what needs throwing away and what needs keeping and for that reason I've labelled every part of the um, SVG so that you know for instance when you take those pieces off the mat you don't need to keep that inner and you do need to keep these little four things you're cutting here and similarly <clears throat> when you cut these walls with the cutouts throw away those inner pieces and don't get them confused with these pieces down here so um it's not difficult you just need to pay attention when you're cutting it and i think and refer to this um this diagram on the front page of your instructions loads of photographs in these instructions by the way to help you out how to assemble it every single step photo for every step and um you'll end up with beautiful boxes like these right at the end if you follow it. Not difficult to assemble at all. I'm really pleased with how easily these went in the end once I'd uh, worked out how to draw it up. Okay, so we'll go on to Design Space now and bring them in. I don't know if I need to bring both of them in. I, I might do just to show you the paper you require for each one. So, upload. I'll bring them in from scratch and then... Uh, so if I can navigate to where they are, there's number one. This is the taller one, carousel box number one. And it lands on your canvas already selected. So you just need to go to your layers panel and click ungroup. I'm on the desktop version for PC. That's at the top of your layers panel, which is uh, open on the right there. So then that displays what's inside it. And you just need to click on that first group and that contains the few lines in this project, there aren't loads, that need converting to score. So you just select it, go to your operations menu, choose score from the drop down and you can see that they get converted. And because there's more than one, we need to ungroup those as well. Okay, so now everything on screen is a separate piece and we can attach the scores to the individual pieces. So, as I say, I'm not going to talk about a lot what each piece is because your diagram on page one of your instructions makes it really clear. Um, I'm just showing you that these two pieces do have scores. These are the vertical walls of the box, so obviously they have scores. The green pieces are for the outer box, the orange pieces are for the inner. That score there, that unusual score in the middle of that wall is to show you where to place the decorative panels. So you need to attach all that. And then this unusual looking little piece is the eight sided handle. I'll just show you what I mean by that decorative panel. If I can go back, yeah, so you see this, you uh, create a panel to go over the top. As you can see, when the, it opens, that panel disappears. Then you can see the walls of the box and then you keep turning it and that panel comes back and you can put your own greeting on that little panel there with maybe a print then cut or pen or anything else you want to add to it to personalize it okay so all the scores are attached now and again just saying this is the bigger of the two boxes it, it is quite a big box actually uh, you can get a lot in it so if we hit make it 
the nice thing about this project is every piece of it can cut from A4 or letter so you could make it bigger if you wanted to I'm not certain how well it would work if you made it a lot bigger because the only thing that turns that inner box is the handle so you might need to think of a different way of attaching it if you were going to make the box really big um, but yeah that's something to think about but as it's designed both both boxes will cut from A4 so as I said the orange is the inner box the the turquoise colour is the outer box and if I just look at these I think I can see a few places where we could maybe move things so I'm going to click on that one just to try and save paper that's all so move object if it'll let me do it I think that would go on there oh just yes it does let's have a look if we bring that down there move that yeah so you get all that on one page and then for sure I think we'll just try it <laughs> see if that one <clears throat> will go on there yes you get those three on one so that's four sheets of A4 for the inner box and the inner box and the handle that's why it needs a little bit more and three for the outer box no point in uh, trying to squeeze things up there I don't think they'll fit no it will be three and of course uh, we can't you can choose letter or 12 by 12 I'll just choose letter to show what we end up with um, and again you could move things around there you'd end up with four sheets of letter and there we have it three sheets just the same so it's the same quantity whether you're using A4 or letter for that larger box I'm not going to cut it so we'll just delete that and I'll bring in the smaller one see what difference that makes carousel gift box 2 they're both the same width both about um, 11 and a half centimeters which is just over four inches wide and then this one is I think it's nine let me just check the dimensions are all given on the uh, Etsy listing anyway it's eight it's eight centimeters tall which is four and a bit isn't it 2.5 anyway <laughs> it's all given I can probably get it from here where's the we go to page one finish sizes yeah, box A is um, 12 centimetres high, which is 4.7 inches, and box B is 8 centimetres high, which is 3.1. Okay, so we'll keep bringing that in. Again, it lands selected, so just ungroup it. And then, I haven't grouped these, I'll make sure that they are grouped when you get them. But basically, all these layers you can see here with no. Um, no cut pieces in they score lines when I give it to you they'll all be in a group so we just convert those to score and now because everything is separate we can just do exactly what we did before and attach the scores to the pieces that have got scores that's the whoops a daisy just go back there nope I'll get that one out of the way there we are whoops dancing a bit today there we go and then these are the walls which are the same length but different height obviously obviously this is a smaller box so it for sure will cut from A4 or letter um, pretty sure we can get that down to three if I take that piece onto there maybe we'll try it anyway I think it will turn it round yeah oops mm. yeah not quite actually I mean let's have a look yes it will that won't matter you're just clipping a tiny bit off the glue tab but that would be absolutely fine it's worth it I think to save a whole sheet of card it's not cheap is it these days and that one will go on to there <coughs> oh 
Oh, although we've got that anyway, haven't we? Yeah, so four. It's going to take four sheets. Let's see what this one does. Three, just like the other one. I guess it's because the walls are the same length and just a different height. Yeah, it will be. So letter, letter for the outer box. You can tell it's the outer box because it's got those holes in the top pieces, which you'll understand when you look at your diagram. Yeah, it's going to be the same, the same actually, four and three, just as it was with the other one. Okay, that's that. If you have any trouble when you come to cut or assemble it, please don't hesitate to get in touch. Um, I really love the way the 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 boxes form with this because it's got like a double a double piece top and bottom and it just pops the circular shape in there's no uh, joining tabs in a curve there's no working hard to make this box circular it just has nowhere else to go with the way it's built so I'm really chuffed with this design and, and I hope other people like it too any problems you can get in touch the links to do that are in the description below i'm wavering aren't i today and if you've just stumbled across this uh, video and you'd like to buy the svg the link to do that is also in the description don't forget if you're purchasing three or more svg files at one time from the tanglecraft studio etsy shop the link is in the description you can use the 30 for 3 discount code to get 30 percent off your total purchase this offer runs all the time, but you need to use that code when you check out. And if you haven't already joined the Tanglecraft Studio Facebook group, join now to get any special Etsy discount codes issued to group members and to take advantage of the free SVG files I give away in the group from time to time. The link to the group is in the description. I hope to see you there. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.